If there's a vintage clock in the center of your town or one perched up high in a clock tower, chances are it was made at this Medfield factory. The Electric Time Company is the nation's only custom maker of outdoor clocks. And they've made some pretty impressive ones since the company's founding back in 1932. We did a clock down in Miami, Florida that's 30 foot that's designed to stand up to hurricane force winds. And we actually had the mechanism going through the side of our building with a fork truck lifting it up and had to bring in a crane truck from the outside to lift the hands because they weighed almost 250 pounds a piece. The Electric Time Company builds about a thousand clocks a year, shipping them all over the globe. Many have up to 500 parts, all of them handmade right here on the premises. And large clocks are back in vogue big time, says company president Tom Erb. A lot of people think, think a clock has been there for 30 years and we just installed it. Um, it adds a nice flavor to a downtown, brings back an old, everybody's trying to bring back the downtowns and get foot traffic and a clock makes a very nice focal point for the foot traffic in a downtown. Among recent impressive projects, Electric Time did one for the farmer's market in Los Angeles and for this New York jewelry store, featuring a facade that simultaneously provides time in 26 different time zones. Today's clocks are no longer your grandfather's timepieces. The modern clocks have an automatic control. It knows when daylight savings time happens, and if there's a power outage, the clocks will actually stop. When the power comes back on, the clocks automatically reset to the proper time. Um, recently, in the past five or six years, we've actually started offering a GPS receiver, and it gets the time from the GPS satellites, and the clocks, they can't be any more accurate than that. Currently in-house, Electric Time has clocks headed for the streets of Boston and as far away as Bolivia and India. So what do these little old clock makers do for fun when away from here and on their own time? We actually go visit our clocks, and my staff does too. So when you go on vacation, you end up visiting the clocks and seeing them. They're almost like children in a way, so you go see the, see the projects all around the country. There was a time when Boston neighborhoods had 30 clocks, and that would dwindle down to just two, and the mayor is hoping to bring that back and, and bring the timepieces back to all of Boston's Oh, that would be great. That's yeah. a nice addition. Chronicle, we'll be right back.